is up guys it's soul bash welcome back we are back playing some more mobile legends and well i'm sorry i've been away for a while but let's play a new one and let's try out phase uh i haven't used her quite a whole lot yet let's take a look at her abilities triad recovers health for you and nearby ally legends trick shot warps fort and attacks the closest enemy legend once safeguard when you are hit with a normal attack it reduces the attack speed temporarily and overcharge overcharges your blaster normal attacks deal bonus damage based on the distance from the target that's pretty interesting so let's jump right into it all right here we go we have phase and we're gonna start out with the heal I'm not sure if that's the best thing to go with but it's a hill over time and uh, as you can see there there's the uh, newest legend that just came out today uh, if you want to see me do a video on him tomorrow let me know in the comments below and we will do that this is pretty interesting so as we know yes they did change this stuff up so we're gonna go in here and see if we can't steal it we did steal it all right good 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 all right Chucky are you gonna take one out if not I will nice so that roll does help Tusker you're running away too the roll helped out early game uh, and the heal seem to keep people up and look at this guy up here he is going way deep all right Chucky's going bottom lane and let's just take a look at the recommended build going with Phoenix blade first Gale boots frost slants thunder hammer demonic axe and then magnificent bow and you have options of chaos claw and soul cutlass so that's gonna be a little bit of tankiness in there with the dodge from the magnificent bow but other than that she's I don't know it's not really set up to do a whole lot of damage more for I guess farming so let's throw this hill out see what kind of healing it does on dread not very much at this level forget way called out not quite I'm not trying to force things too too much right now dread stepping in pretty quick he used the shrink ability on Tusker and we're just gonna walk back and shoot him along the way and we have the next ability which is the passive I believe and that is safeguard when hit by normal attacks it reduces his attack speed by 30 percent so he just got his attack speed reduced because he hit me that's pretty cool Chucky coming up top trying to look for a kill so is Jonix so that's really odd one from the bottom lane came up top let's throw a heal out on Chucky it's not doing very much to begin with you see it's only doing what plus 9 plus 12 maybe so I'm sure once we level that up it's probably gonna get a little bit better now I'm not sure if going with uh, a, not attack speed but life steal would help out with this character because on top of those heals alright we got a regen there and now we have the ultimate and Jonic's gonna try to come in so let's test out this ability here let's try to keep him at bay we're gonna heal up that's 3v1 let's not try too much on that let's get some movement speed and we really didn't get to fully test that out okay this guy here they're really pushing hard like I said in the last video we did I can tell they've changed a good bit with the AI but I can't tell exactly what all has changed with it I know they normally didn't go for the buff so that's real interesting to see that they actually changed that up and we're gonna go ahead and go back and heal all the way up all right so we all know phase has been out for quite a while now and I have slacked off on uh, content uh, like I said I, I got sick there for a while I had strep throat I really couldn't talk at all so just being able to talk again and uh, do this is pretty pretty nice and we've got our ultimate up kind of want to try to test it out it's got 30 seconds on that buff so let's farm up and I know in the re recent updates as well they changed a lot of this stuff where you can actually or well you're not can you are forced to you know farm more because you're getting less from your stuff now and Tusker is tower diving really early in the game and I've noticed that a lot uh, you're able to tower dive even earlier in the game than what you were previously so this is gonna be really interesting to kind of see how it changes things I know they've been doing ESL leagues I believe they do them on Saturdays 
and I, I'm not sure what they're pushing for it, what they're trying to get out of it, but I know it's limited to certain legends. You see, the further away I'm getting, the more damage I'm doing. That's that yellow number, and I'm assuming that's from that ultimate, because I've never seen any yellow numbers pop up like that. So I'm going to pick up the heal tier 3 on it, and let's go ahead and take these out. That ultimate seems like it lasts a long time. Alright, it just stopped. I'm not doing any extra numbers on it now. So that's pretty interesting to see. And Dread... Oh no, no, let's get out of there. Dread was... Hopefully he got in the range of that heal. I'm not quite sure, I can't tell. But we're just gonna keep him ranged. We're gonna support Dread. I know Dread's kind of a support character himself as well, especially if he's not building into pure damage and crit. Jonic poking around, we got him. And let's go ahead and pick up this Thunder Hammer. Now that, myself, I probably would go with a little bit earlier in the match because Thunder Hammer, it's gonna help you farm. As you can see there, it's gonna do extra damage. I know they nerfed it a little bit, but they only took like 10 damage away from it when they did. So it's gonna be, oh, Jonic poking in again. If he hit me with the ultimate, he probably would've killed me there. Let's check on mid buff. All right, it's up. That's another thing I noticed. They did actually start going for mid buff even during the match, so kind of interesting to see. Now, as far as the rest of this build, you're getting Demonic Axe and Magnificent Bow. Those are two basically defense items. So we're not gonna really pull any more damage out of this build aside from leveling stuff up. Now the first one, the uh, Phoenix Blades, if everybody remembers, that did get nerfed as well. So the first tier does not have the slow to it. Let's go ahead and kill that. And Jonic, uh, let's throw that heal out on me. So it's a heal over time, healing for 108. And that's at tier three. That's not bad. It dropped down to 21, so that's kind of interesting. So let's go back up top and see what these guys are up to up here. We got a power buff here. That's gonna be really nice to help with. All right, Chucky. All right, we really didn't mean to uh, roll into that like that, but you can tell the damage. Look, the further I get away, the more it does, and that's the ultimate hitting on that. 63, further away, 61, 49. So if he moves closer, so to be able to counter that if I were you even if she did use her ultimate I would get closer that way you could do more damage to these guys and if you out level somebody it looks like you could possibly steamroll a match with this person I know this is AI it's not comparable to playing against other people but it's just like any character if you get a couple levels ahead you can pretty much steamroll a game if you play it right and are we gonna get him? Not quite, not quite. All right, we got the uh, we got the Magnificent Bow, which is gonna give us a little bit of dodge. Tier two on that is gonna give you, I believe, 30% dodge. And that is unless somebody builds into the Soul Cutlass and max it out, which completely ignores dodge. And Tusker's coming back in, so we're gonna throw a heal out. And that's interesting to see as well, because this is the first heal that's basically a heal over time. Uh, none of the other legends that have healing abilities can heal over time. So this is pretty cool, especially to have that type of addition to the game. Uh, so let's get away from here. There's Way, And Way's going to try to run me down. So we're going to ultimate and just slowly walk away from Way. Do we stay outside of there? If not, we're gonna go in. We're gonna just go for Jonic. All right, we got the uh, kill on Jonic. Uh, intentionally rolled the wrong way. And Chucky is up here doing work on this tower. Of course, he's not getting anything off of it because no minions are around. But he's really pushing hard on this. Uh, it's kind of weird to see he just literally killed himself. Which is not good. Okay, so we ha now have the slow on that Phoenix Blade. And yeah, it's called Fire Blades for the second. So now we're going to be able to slow these guys down. You see the little blue thing, yeah. Which means I could now run somebody down if I wanted to. 
But now we're going to focus on getting away and getting that hill off. So we'll throw this hill in and let's see if we can't catch up with him. Teleport in on him. Now he's going to attack me, which is going to slow down his attack power with this character. I'm not going to force it, so we're just going to hang back. We're level 10. Uh, doing these, I always like to kind of try to max out level to 16. Uh, but I don't want to kill everybody just yet. I do like farming this stuff up and maxing it out so we can kind of see what these legends are capable of when you go in game. So what we're going to do, instead of trying to force kills on them, I know I already took too many towers probably, so we're just going to go around and kill stuff, farm up, and let's see what later towards end game she's capable of doing, because that's what you're going to want to try to do is level up. The further you go away from everybody, the higher chances of you winning this game. Now, we got fireballs up in the middle. I'm going to peek over here and check on the mini boss. Okay, he is up, so we're going to grab this power buff. We're going to start taking their farm. And let's see if they can test any of it while I'm out here killing it. Now, I do have the tornado buff. This is going to give me... Uh, I'm sorry, that was going to give me the tornado buff. This is the lightning buff I already have, which I think does a bit more splash damage. And they're all still three up top. We're not going to upgrade the boots. Uh, let's go down here and go with the 30% dodge on this. That'll help me out, keep me alive a little bit longer, and just force these guys to run away. See, I'm now three levels ahead of that guy. So we're just going to go in through, catch up, whatever we... Oh, we got respawns right here again immediately. That's nice. Good little bit of gold and Jonic. Uh, there was no uh, really saving him. So, come here, guys. I'm not sure if Dread actually outran that. He did. So, we're level 12, which is max out all the abilities. And pretty much from here on out, it's just all you're going to do is build on top of the... You see that shot? That shot actually went towards Way, which teleported back. That was pretty interesting. But... After level 12, all you're doing is building on top of what you already have as far as your build. If you want to get rid of something, if you want to get something else back. And this will show you slowing them down. You're able to take them out. I'm not really using anything special currently. I'm going to get away from him. He's doing a pretty decent amount of damage to me. Well, I'm not really running, but what? The two defensive items. So we've got Tusker slowed. Supporting... That's probably going to be a major role for this legend is helping support because of the heal. We'll go ahead and pick up the movement speed anyway. So just go up here. It heals everybody up. It does a pretty good job at healing them as well. I mean, it does a heal over time, but you're still going to be able to stay in there and help these guys out, especially if some of them are running with life still. That's just going to be an extra 100, 108, whatever it's healing for at the time. Uh, I'll do it again real quick and see if it scales per level. It was healing for 108 when it was maxed out a while ago, so let's take a look. It's still at 108. Um, as far as I know, I haven't looked or seen any items that do affect the amount of heals. Uh, if you guys do know of any items that do affect the heal amounts, uh, let me know because that would be something interesting to play around with. And that's what I mainly do with these things is I, I just test them play around with them see what's gonna happen oh we did lose a tower down here I uh, didn't really pay attention to that so let's kill this stuff we're level 14 I'm gonna go over here and grab the the fire giant we're level 14 I want to see what kind of damage or ability she's able to pull out against a boss so being able to keep herself sustained and healed up that's going to be one thing because she doesn't really have any kind of uh, life steal or anything like that. So we're not going to be healed up by anything but her heal. And the, it's a 21 second timer on it. So the cooldown being 21 seconds, uh, there are items I do know that affect the cooldowns. Uh, Way's coming in trying to steal the kill on it. But that's not going to happen. He got me caught inside of that. Uh, we got three seconds left on that, and then we're just going to pop a heal again. All right, Fire Essence. So we have two lives now. Let's pop our heal. 
and regen's right there anyway so that's pretty awesome come in Jonic. let's just roll in pop the ultimate and let's see if we can't get a triple can we get a triple kill all right way i need to get away from you to do more damage to you and the further you get away nice that is a triple kill nice so it's obvious that once you get so far ahead like this you are going to be able to steamroll like that and let's go back down here and take out some of these minions if you guys have any recommended builds or questions about this legend like i said in pretty much all these videos that we do on these guys let me know i have no problem testing any of this stuff out and we're gonna go ahead and try and finish up this match we only need three more kills so let's go up top and kind of end this it's uh been looking pretty miserable for these guys yes it is ai i do know this and we're gonna go in here and help our guys out have they taken this tower up here already they have so jonic is here they're all here all right we got the ultimate out i'm gonna use the uh, ranged on them that's what that's good for okay instead of going in that's another reason uh you can get away from these guys I did die for the reason of the fact I had the fire essence, so I'm gonna pop right back up and we still got the kill on him when we came back. Double kill, we don't need but one more. So, let's go find these guys. Here's Way right here, this is it. Gonna be the end of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that heal. I really don't need to use it yet, but we're just gonna go ahead and end it. Oh, Way got away, so Tusker, you are going to be the nominee to end this match. That shot does go off regardless how far you are away from somebody. So that's the end of the match. So guys, what do you think about FaZe? FaZe is unique for one. She's ranged and she has the heal over time. Uh, so let me know what you think about FaZe, guys. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or recommendations about the builds, I know this is the recommended build that we did use. So let me know in the uh, comments below if you have any of recommendations or just an opinion on it. Let me know. Uh, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.